What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back with you guys today to go on ahead and get ready for the final month of the year. It is officially December. It is the first right now. I know I'm a little tardy to the party for like preparing my planner, but it's been a crazy busy weekend because I mean, obviously it was the holiday. And so like everybody's just kind of enjoying each other and relaxing and overeating and going to parties and so on and so forth. So I'm coming to you guys today to plan out for the month of December, but I did want to give you guys a quick view of my after the pin of last week. Um, loved <laughs> revisiting my vertical layout. It has been a very long time since I've done this. If you guys want to see like how I did this, um, you can definitely go back to my last video, but I just wanted to show you guys really quickly, like nothing really a whole lot to show but this is just what it looked like after I actually filled it out even though I didn't really use my little shopping list you know there wasn't a lot of things for me to pick up but I still did like this little insert that I created so now moving on to the month of December so what I decided so what I decided to do was use this as my fitness section, um, I'm going to use the currently page to kind of track everything as far as like, you know, my monthly goals, you know, all of that stuff still. But then as for my actual month view, I'm going to use my monthly layout to actually track you know, the main things that I typically track in my monthly. I'm gonna grab this out of here to get it out of the way. And this is typically what the monthly view looks like. However, since I'm using the vertical layout, I just decided that I'm not really gonna use these pages much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that extra page out and I'm going to combine these two pages together. So I'm just gonna use some of this tape here to get a right get a tight and just go on ahead and combine these pages and just possibly use that that notes page so that's what that's going to look like so I'm going ahead and pull this out and then this is my regular view of the month, which I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna, I feel like I'm still gonna decorate on this just because I want to, and then actually planning out my week will be a separate video. So first things first, let's go on ahead and get this situated. All right, you guys, so these are the books that I will be using. I recently picked up the seasonal wrong wrong just because I was feeling a little FOMO and I seen so many girls using stickers from this book and I was just really inspired. So I went on ahead and picked that one up. The Christmas Joy, Winter, and then the seasonal. And I also grabbed this guy just for my, um, my wellness tracking. All right, so first things first that I always do, I showed you guys this in my last video, but I am gonna go on ahead and get my wellness calendar all mapped out. We are back. My calendar is complete. Now we can get to decorating. I'm super excited, yay. Um, so first things first, um, I kind of want to do focus on my functional stuff first. So as far as habit trackers, I always track my workouts. So I'll go on ahead and word that in. And then I will track my you 
YouTube videos. And I usually don't focus on a third, so let's find something that maybe I can cover that guy up with. What I ended up using this page for last month, and I'll show you guys really quickly. Um, I ended up using it like a bucket list, which you know I wasn't able to check off all of these things, but I thought it was really a really cute idea to possibly use this space for. But yeah, thinking that's what I want to do again, so always add like a little decorative element up top. sticker it says keep going since it's the final month I'm going to use this one as well that says no excuses I'm loving how the December looks up here in this corner. So I'm going to see if I can cover this up some. Here is what our monthly dashboard is looking like. Like I said, I don't really do a whole lot of decorating on this page, but we've got enough going on here. I just going ahead and fill out my bills. And then, like I said, for this area, I will probably just put things to remember. And then I will be creating a uh, bucket list on a separate video so that's what will be on the cover of this so then i will have like my bucket list items here and then i can open up to my dad all right so we are back and we are going to go on ahead and fill in 
our monthly for December. This is not something that I normally do. However, for um, this month, there's a lot going on. I have like my list of everything that's going on. And as you can see, it's a lot going on. So we are into basketball season. My daughter is a cheerleader. So the first thing that I want to do is make sure that I note all of the days that she will be having games. So starting this Friday, we have a home game so I'm gonna go on ahead and put that there I'm gonna do the home games in these type of boxes and then I'm gonna use different type of boxes for the away games that way I have a little bit more space to write where the away games are but then again on the 20th we have another home game and I'm pulling stickers from the winter book um, so yeah We'll do that here. And then the last home game of this month is the 28th. So I will use this color here. And I feel like the, the colors are appropriate for what we will have going on. And then again, for the away games, I'll need a little bit more space just to write where the game is going to be located. You know, I have some extra boxes in here. I'm trying to decide if I want to use these or these. I think I'm going to use these. I feel like I'll have enough space, so. Again, the weight game is on the 7th, so I will put a box here. And then the next one will be on the 10th. Then again on the 13th will be an away game. Then the 21st. Um, I'll use this one with the snowflake since it is the first day of winter. And then last away game is New Year's Eve, which is, ugh, I hate that it's that day, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Right. So, I will go on ahead, stick this here, and I will probably find a sticker to like cover up the to-do part. So, there are my boxes for the games. Now, after that, I have a lot more other appointments and dates that I need to fill in, so. I think I'm going to use these guys for that. So tomorrow, which is Monday, I have a nail appointment. So I'm gonna just use one of these slimmer boxes for that. And then on the 8th, I am going to a informational meeting for a yoga teacher training, which I am super excited about. I think I'm going to use one of these boxes so just this box for the eighth and then I have a hair appointment on the 15th which I am so excited about because your girl's hair needs some TLC so we're gonna follow la 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 all, <laughs> all the way there so for that day put that sticker there and then on the 19th, I am going to Megan the Stallion's um, block party. So let me see. I might want to put a special, special sticker for that. Actually, I'm going to pull for Rum. My squad. 
or not my squad. This is the seasonal wrong wrong. So let me see if I can find a sticker that matches up with that event, which is gonna be so lit. I cannot wait. Been counting down to that day. Let's see. Um, meet me at Mistletoe. Night in with my girls. Oh, excuse me. Um, okay, so let me see. So I will use this guy. Uh, I lied. I lie. I lie. I lie. Third, I put in a request for a nail appointment. I get my nails done usually every three weeks. However, this last time I went an extra week and this is looking bad out here and I can definitely tell the difference. So I won't be doing that again. Okay, so I have a nail appointment requested and then I also have a dental appointment the same day for my daughter to get her braces removed. And that's nice and crooked, so let me correct this. Can you see what I'm doing? There we go. Dental appointment, nail appointment. And that is everything as far as events. So that's good. So now let's kind of, let's decorate our page. So let's see, I can use, tis the season for freezing. I like this, that's cute. And I like this because this kind of ties in all the colors that we have going on. So, actually, I'll put it down here because I might want to use that for something else. Go for the fa la 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 la. How about that? So we'll do a little fa la 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 la. A little tree in the corner. plenty enough for me. I think we are pretty much done with that. So let's go on ahead pop this baby in here. So there we are. There we go. There we go. So we have our monthly view here. Then we have our calendar with all of our dates, all of my games and appointments, all of that jazz. And instead of me writing down every single, um, uh, instead of me writing down every single game here, I will only put my appointments in this area and then whatever else pops up here. So yes, this is low key perfect for this month because as you can see, it's a lot going on. So that is pretty much it for my 
monthly setup. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video, watching me get ready for the month. Until the next time, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Enjoy your day.